Hello, I'm Tom Loud from Hot Dub Time Machine and you're watching Campus TV. Welcome to Hot Dub Time Machine. My name is Lulu Loud and I will be your cabinet attendant and time lord. So we're here at Summer Ball and we're backstage with Tom Loud um, from Hot Dub Time Machine who's performing this evening. How are you doing today, Tom? Really good. Thank you very much for having me. No problem. Um, I, hopefully you're going on soon. Um, but we'll just ask you a few questions first of all. So the big question, I suppose, is where did you get the idea uh, for your act? A hot dog time machine comes from finding a lot of dance parties a little bit boring. There's a lot too, too many DJs take themselves a bit too seriously and I get very bored if there's only one genre of music. So I wanted to make a party that has all kinds of music and that is just fun and silly. And so hot dog time machine is it? Now, as you just said, you, 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 you pick music from all different eras and, and years, but what's your favourite year of music? Well, I genuinely don't have one because I really think uh, that pe as people get older, they sit there and they, they, they go like, a lot of people come up and say there's no good music made after the 60s. There's no good music made after the 70s. A guy sent me an email the other day saying there's no good music made after 2010. And it's just not true. There's great musicians who are making great music the whole time. So I like the Beatles just as much as I like Beyonce. That's good, I suppose. I mean, you get a good range. Um, yeah. But um, so, so before you did Hot Dub Time Machine, you were on the comedy scene, weren't you? Mm. You were doing tours with that. How has that transition been? Do you find that a lot of, of what you used to do is sort of bleeding into it? or? Yeah, I've, I've kind of um, have come through a weird, we been DJing for a very long time since like the year 2000 and I found an odd niche doing fringe festivals and, and comedy festivals and I was literally kind of the only DJ at the Edinburgh Fringe for the last few years, putting on a show that's something a little bit different and so now I'm taking that kind of uh, sensibility out into more mainstream festivals and events and it's great because uh, what I do is a show and, and it has a, a concept and a, and a, a level of production that uh, is really cool. And it's great to, to get out into these because it's just a bit more crazy. It's a bit, a bit, the Edinburgh Fringe and all that kind of stuff is wonderful, but when you're playing at an awesome student night like tonight here in Bath, it's, uh, it's a whole different level. Now, your act is, is you know, on your website and in your biography, you talk about that it's a family sort of orientated project. Your wife features, doesn't she, in some of the, uh, in some of the clips. So how have you found that working as a family on a, on a project? Uh, it's awesome. So yes, uh, my Hot Dive Time is an audio visual thing. Um, so I mix videos as well as audio. And a lot of those videos have my wife who plays the character Lulu Loud, the cabin attendant and time lord. So she's kind of the hostess of the hot dub time machine. And so uh, she's just a great actress. And uh, when I married her many years ago, I knew that. And the whole thing is basically a campaign to get her more work because actors, you know, never get any work. So, uh, and we love it. It's now a project and, and um, it's, it's a wonderful thing if you can work with your partner. I highly recommend it. So you are here at university and uh, we've got loads of freshers coming in in September who are obviously excited to start and what have you. What advice do you think you could give to them uh, for, for starting here? Wow, that's, a, that's <laughs> an interesting question. Yeah, I, I, uh, the first time I went to uni, I uh, wasted much of my parents' money doing a Bachelor of Arts. I, I wanted to work in, uh, in radio and communications and stuff. So, uh, But um, I think uh, work out what you want to do and get excited about it. Like, and get really, find what you're passionate about and then just get so so excited about it that it doesn't feel like work. A lot of uni can feel a bit too much like work, but when you really care about it and love it, it's easy. So it's great. go to the stuff that you love. Now, you've been on tour at the moment, have you? Mm. Whereabouts have you been? Um, this is a very quick little, this is the start of my UK summer. So uh, this is the third year I'm gonna come, over, gonna come over here. So this is a, qu a quick little two week jaunt to, just to celebrate the end of university with everyone over here. So last weekend I did, it was in Belfast, Manchester and Edinburgh, which was great. And last night I was in somewhere, Surrey. <laughs> and tomorrow I get to go home, which is lovely. And then I come back and do a couple more gigs in Scotland. And then I come back and do the whole of July in London, the whole of August in Edinburgh. And then September, I'm gonna be doing freshers all over the place. That sounds awesome. How, how do you find the UK crowds? How do, you, do they differ to everywhere else that you've been They to? do, definitely. I really like it because uh, English crowds, UK crowds, um, uh, they're much more comfortable with cheese. They're much more comfortable with being a bit of a dag. Like in Australia, sometimes uh, we can be worried about being a bit too cool. And, uh, but in the UK, everyone loves to sing along. Everyone loves dressing up. And that's what I'm all about. So it works really well. Fantastic. Well, have fun this evening. And I'm really looking forward, as I'm sure many people are, to seeing your set. Thank cool. you very much for talking to us. Thanks so much.